Oh guys, well, would you believe I did it again? I recorded a whole video and forgot to push play. So, this is the second time. Let me just make sure. Okay, it's really going this time. All right, well, a couple of the good stuff. Um, something I forgot to tell you guys last time um, was normally in the past, um, I would have a really hard time seeing pictures of people more advanced in the disease. Um, and I've just noticed like the last, like now when I look at pictures, especially on the support sites, when people post pictures of, um, you know, family members, it just, I just smile, you know, and it's, you know, I think that's something good in accepting that part about where I'm at now and just, you know, am thankful for those, you know, the people s taking these pictures, um, that they are just, um, a part of somebody that they know, you know, their Huntington's disease. So anyway, that was just a really good breakthrough that I realized. So thank you, Jesus, for that. Um, all right. So I have restuck my sticky notes on here because I thought I had done these, but I'll try to go quickly at least. Um, so it's just been one of those like stupid Huntington's couple days. I just, it's like everything I do, it feels like I get hurt. So um, I hit my, oh, this, yes, hit my knee on the table downstairs for whatever reason. It's like constantly bonking myself on that table and chairs. So it's almost like I've gotten used to that, but it still hurts. Um, I was walking out the front door and Isaac and Jen have a Christmas sign that's on the door. And somehow I whacked my head really hard on it when I was coming out. And um, I uh, also was trying to clip my fingernails and slipped uh, and like pinch my finger with the fingernail clippers instead of my fingernail and it really hurt um and I had realized like the last few times like I've tried to cut them I get them way too short and they, they hurt afterwards like where the base is where the nail meets um so I you know it was kind of hard for me to do but I texted like my brother and mom and sister-in-law and was just like, this is embarrassing, but I think I need help doing this next time. And my brother offered to do it for me, which is just really awesome. Um, okay, so I think I can take this one off. Yes, nope, <laughs> this one, okay. Uh, and then I started at the dryer this morning and whacked my hand on the this thing that comes down on the dryer, it really hurt. And I started the dryer without putting any clothes in. Oh, yes. Um, so then I came back before too late. Um, okay, yes. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, this will save for the end. Um, I, oh, yes. Okay, yes, that one's done. <laughs> you guys know I love getting rid of the sticky notes. Okay, uh, so just a quick rundown on this to make sure I've got everything. Oh, and I think most of you saw um, about me starting with the therapy, um, rehab therapy, and I, I didn't even realize that PT is used or speech therapy um, for HD. So when the neuro neurologist suggested it, you know, I was just really excited at that prospect of, you know, something other than medicine that can help um, with the symptoms. And my physical therapist is awesome. She's so nice. And I guess um, I'll meet my speech therapist on Friday um, for like my consultation. Um, but I, I mentioned on the website, but um, I still have really good balance, um, which is good, especially because when I'm running, oh, I told you guys about that. Yes, I've been able to catch myself without falling. Um, so, but again, I, I told her that I've started walking on the part that has the rocks and things. So at least that has, you know, um, I was able to have good balance and we did 
a six minute walk down the hall and back and like you know it's nice that I'm in shape enough you know because of the running that you know that was no problem um so yeah so I look forward to especially starting with the speech therapist because I didn't even really realize how much um, they can help in different things. I've had a lot of feedback on the website about, thanks guys for your feedback, because now I know that it's been helpful for each of you guys. Uh, yes, I had um, put a, some socks on. Well, I got one sock on. Um, I In the winter when I run, I always put long, warm socks on um, in case I get snow in my shoe or on my leg. Like, it won't freeze me to death. Um, but uh, I just wanted to see if these socks were going to fit because I was taking stuff to the thrift store. And it was too tight. It was too tight. And I couldn't even get it off. So Isaac had to come and rescue me from my sock that was stuck on me. But that one I laughed a little bit about. All right. Let's see. Oh, yes. This is happening more and more where I do something or start to do something. And then I'm like, crud. Like, why did I, you know, so I ended up opening my computer the other day and still couldn't figure out why. Um, so yes, it's just sometimes taking me my brain longer to put the two things together. Uh, I stuck my finger in the... Oh yes, uh, this was a couple days ago I was making my breakfast and normally um, my brother has shown me a cool trick where if you crack the egg on the side of the pan it's like sharper and so it cracks the egg better and you don't have to you know get egg on the counter and carry it across so that's what I've been doing but the last few times for whatever reason like I am not doing very good at the cracking part and generally usually I get some uh, shells of the eggs in my um, you know shells in my egg when I'm starting to cook it so I know the trick about using a shell to get it out, but for whatever reason, like I just was not thinking and put the egg in and had so many shells. And so I want to get a shell out with my finger in the hot pan. So I burned my finger and it really hurt. Uh, and my brother finished doing that for me. Um, so that was, yes, something I have never done before and it really hurt. Um, and then uh, I also, you guys can see, I have a giant paper cut on this part of my hand. I was opening um, a box yesterday from Amazon and somehow got this huge paper cut trying to pull it open um, instead of using scissors to open it. So next time, it's good. At least these things, when they happen, like will help me come up with a safer way to do things. Uh, let's see. Oh, yes. And this is happening a lot. I think I mentioned this, but I'll be making breakfast or whatever at the, at the counter and go over and sit down at the table. And I'm like, where's my breakfast? I didn't even finish making it. It's all over on the counter still. Uh, yeah, so that's happening more. Knocked my water bottle over, which happens a lot. And it always is when the time I have my top open instead of closed and it spills everywhere, even though I tell myself not to do it. So I had to clean that up yesterday. Um, what am I doing? Oh, yes, yes, yes. Cardboard box. Got my finger cut. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. And, okay. Just making sure. Yes. Okay. I don't want to forget anything. Okay, yes. Uh, and then the other thing, uh, just, you know, um, feeling just really missing my kids again. Um, and I think especially because every time I Skype with Juniper, like, I love it. It's so fun and, you know, but it's always saying goodbye and, like, just remembering she's not here with me. So I'm just feeling that more um, today, like, you know, because it's going to be her birthday and just, you know, not being able to be there with her. Um, is, yes, so it's just, um, and when I look at my pictures and videos, so, you know, I'm reminded of all the cute stuff, it's like, oh, cause then I just want to grab them and kiss them, 
so anyway, yeah, I just wanted to share that with you guys. Like today, it's kind of extra. Um, maybe being on my birthday, I just, yeah. So I'm just really missing them today. Um, oh, oh yes. But after um, my mom met with a physical therapist and like talked to my brother, um, just about especially the chairs they have around the table, um, because there are armrests on them, like, they keep almost sli sliding out from underneath of me, um, and I've had a couple almost falls on the floor because of that, so they are going to invest in a chair for me that has arms, um, and so it was just, you know, good to talk about. Uh, and I got a shoehorn, yes, you guys, if you don't know what it is, it's wonderful, um, that way you don't have to, like, lean over and struggle to get your hair foot in your shoe um it just you it's a metal thing you put in the back al along the heel and put your foot in um put your shoe in your foot. yeah you guys know what i'm saying but get one if you've never used one before and you struggle with getting your shoes on because it's like yes and it only costs ten dollars and it's really good quality so all right i think that is everything um your sum of the day is <clears throat> Mm, Psalm 67, uh, it's time to praise him. Uh, okay, and it's a short one, so it'll I'll be able to read it a little bit quicker this time. Okay, <clears throat> God, keep us near your grace fountain and bless us. And when you look down on us, may your face beam with joy. Send us out all over the world so that everyone everywhere will discover your ways and know who you are and see your power to save us. Let all the nations burst forth with praise. Let everyone everywhere love and enjoy you. Then how, sorry, oh, sorry, my computer sometimes turns off the screen for a second, so sorry about the pause there. Um, <clears throat> Then how glad the nations will be when you are their king. They will sing, they will shout for you, give true justice to the people. Yes, you, Lord, are the shepherd of the nations. No wonder the people praise you. Let all the people praise you more. The harvest of the earth is here. God, the very God we worship, keeps us satisfied at his banquet of blessings. And the blessings keep coming. Then all the ends of the earth will give him the honor he deserves and be in awe of him. So, I, you know, again, that theme of like, even though right now I'm having a really hard time, you know, with the disease and missing my kids, like he's worthy of our praise. So that's my two cents. And the song of the day is going to be Matt Gilman as a deer. Um, really good. One of my used to be one of my favorite songs um so that is yes that's what you got today guys and i will oh i hope you guys are ready for fun friday tomorrow prepare yourselves all right have a great day i'll talk when i have more to say